couldn't bring myself to stay inside as pretty as it is outside today, so you might see my laundry kind of <laughs> blowing into the, the camera frame, and I'm, I'm sorry if the wind noise is too bad. If it's too bad, I guess I can reshoot this footage and, or edit it out, but um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the kit in general before I introduce the actual ascorbate flush. Um, as I said in an earlier video, I actually had been researching this for I guess about a year, maybe a little over a year, uh, about heavy metal detox. Uh, and the reason for that was because you know, I had dealt with people with, with parasites, I dealt with people with liver problems, I had dealt with gut issues, mold issues, and there's some people that I just couldn't seem to make any progress with. And as I researched, I, I came to realize that uh, core to a lot of those problems is heavy metal toxicity. So at any rate, um, that's why I came to the conclusion that I needed to study that. And I've studied a lot of different um, heavy metal detox protocols, a lot of different uh, research and stuff, and um, the, the kit here is what I came up with. Now, I, as some of you may know already, um, I am a wellness advocate with doTERRA uh, essential oils. And some people may think, well, she's just trying to promote her essential oils. And that, I mean, I believe it's a good product. But that is not why I incorporate doTERRA into the heavy metal detox. As I researched, uh, I found out that ascorbate, the sea salts is the brand that I use, um, is really kind of core to this detox. But there's some things that, that work synergistically with the vitamin C or with the ascorbate. Um, that I needed and I wasn't sure where I was going to get those components to plug into my protocol and um, I was searching for those components when in June of this year 2018 I was introduced to doTERRA um, quite by accident I had no intention of signing up a friend of mine was having a class um, a doTERRA class and I went just to support her. You know, I actually took toys to play with the kids, you know, ropes to show them how to tie knots. And, you know, I just didn't have any interest in that stuff. And so, anyway, I guess about a quarter of the way into the class, I gave all my toys to the kids and I was glued because I, I was amazed at the testimonies I was hearing. So I signed up um, for doTERRA and. Uh, then I started researching their product, products and I was blown away. Uh, I mean, why reinvent the wheel? They had the components already put together that I need. So um, I do intend to, to contact them though because the, the multivitamin that they use has weed in it and I can't recommend it for my people that are um, celiacs or gluten free. So I intend to address that, no terror if you're watching. Um, but I still think it's an excellent product. And so, um, let me just kind of go over the components of the kit with you and, and just briefly uh, why I chose these components. Okay, uh, first and foremost uh, is the colon cleanse and the colon detox. Um, with, with this detox at the beginning, you must have your bowels open. Your bowels need to be moving at least twice a day. So I incorporated what's equivalent to Schultz Formula One. Dr. Schultz uh, was the doctor that made all these herbal formulas and stuff, and, and his products are excellent, but they're a little spendy. And so um, somebody, I don't even remember who, told me initially about Abnat, Absolutely Natural. Um, they share my faith, and so I like to support them. They're really good people to work with, and they have... Um, the equivalent of Schultz Formula 1 and Formula 2 and that is the colon cleanse this stuff and the colon detox which comes as a powder or as a capsule it's, you know both ways okay so what I recommend for everybody is to get their bowels moving you need to be having two bowel movements a day um, start getting the kidneys cleansed drink some flaxseed tea every day um, increase your water intake increase the fiber intake in your in your diet if you 
uh, I guess kind of those of you who are from my neck of the woods, you'll understand this. Um, you can't drain the swamp until you bust the beaver dam. And many of us are packing around beaver dams in our guts, uh, just loaded and packed full of waste. And until you break that loose, you can't drain the beaver dam. You can't drain the pond or the swamp. And so, um, get your bowels moving. That's the key to that. And then we do the ascorbate flush, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. And then some of you have, who have received kits from me, um, in the paper it talks about magnesium citrate, uh, and I sent you glycinate. It, it really doesn't matter which form you use. Magnesium citrate is going to be more prone to make your bowels move than the magnesium glycinate, but I'm taking care of that with the colon cleanse, so why beat a dead horse to death, I figured. Um, Selenium works synergistically with the ascorbate to help to get the heavy metals out of the cell. And that's what we're doing. We're detoxing the cell. Chlorella, which, you know, I get them from different places, but the thing you want to make sure is that it's um, cracked cell or broken cell wall chlorella. That's the kind that is really uh, bioavailable. Okay, and then um, the doTERRA components. A lot of people um, don't realize the importance of your omega fatty acids. Um, most of us get way more omega-6 fatty acids than we need and way too few omega-3s. The omega-3 fatty acids are important for cell wall health and also for the, um, the myelin sheath that um, it, it's like the insulator around nerve cells. And a lot of people that have uh, neurological diseases, uh, neuromuscular diseases, it's because that, that myelin sheath is damaged. And, you know, taking a, a good form of uh, omega-3 fatty acids can help to heal those cell wall, cell membranes. So that's why I needed a good omega-3, okay? Then I needed, most people's bodies are just super depleted because the soils are depleted. Even if you're eating organic, unless you're growing it on dirt that you amended, you've tested, you know your soil is not depleted, then your food is going to give you what you need. But most of us are not in that category. And so we're in the process of amending our soil. So I believe our soil is way better than average. Um, but even so, you know, until we get it where it needs to be and we can eat like, you know, more from the garden and stuff, then we need a good multivitamin and mineral complex, okay? And then the other thing is um, that's in this is Alpha CRS, which is, it's, it's cell food. It's, it's got a component, it, it's put together as a component that really helps to energize the cell. And so these three components right here make up the lifelong vitality pack. Now, in my kit, if you ask me to put you together a kit, I'm going to send you the vegan uh, lifelong vitality because I don't really want to take dead fish oil. I mean, if you do, I guess that's up to you. The vegan lifelong vitality pack is about $10 more. So if you order a kit for me and you don't mind if it's not vegan, then let me know and, and I'll order the regular. And it is $10 cheaper. But to me, I'd rather have the, the vegan sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, also, now, um, if you've received a kit from me, this is going to look different. This is the Zendocrine. Um, I can't tell. Is that showing up? Yeah, okay. Uh, Zendocrine is a, it's a proprietary blend that doTERRA put together that is very powerful to cleanse the liver. And uh, it really works. It's good stuff, but it tastes nasty. So, for those of you who ordered a kit from me, I was merciful. They have it in a uh, vegetarian gel cap. So I ordered you gel caps. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, the first, when I, I didn't know that when I first ordered it, and so I ordered the drops. My husband kind of likes it, but to me it tastes nasty, so just being honest. Um, and then on this detox, you really want to increase your sulfur foods because the sulfur and the selenomethionine, and, and if, you, if you do order selenium, make sure it's selenomethionine. That's the only really bioavailable form that's going to help. 
those help to work synergistically with the ascorbate to kind of, I guess, for lack of a better term, melt the, the heavy metals or, or dissolve them out of the, the cells. It's kind of like the soap. The ascorbate would be like the water and, the, and these other components would be like the soap to loosen up the heavy metals from the cell and get them out. And then, of course, the chlorella and the bowel uh, colon detox are what I call binders. And the binders are extremely important because when the ascorbate and all these other selenium and, and sulfur foods, and I'll talk about sulfur foods in a minute, loosen the heavy metals from your cell, if you don't have something to handcuff it and carry it out, then you can reabsorb that. And you don't want to do that because, I mean, you can, get a, you can make yourself very sick if you do that. So that's why uh, I, I really made it easy, I think, by using the ginger essential oil because you just put a drop or two in your water and drink it along with the lemon. Um, the lemon is a very good blood purifier and liver purifier. The ginger is very strongly anti-inflammatory, which so is the ascorbate. All of this kind of is working together to, you know, to benefit your body, to get rid of the heavy metals. Um, sulfur foods. Sulfur foods are like garlic, onions, um, your uh, brassica sprouts, like broccoli sprouts, um, and then ginger, of course. I, I believe that, my cat is trying to get in the picture here. I believe that um, when you're on the detox, that like ginger lemon tea should be like your beverage of choice. Um, and then when you eat garlic, take the whole bulb and roast it until it's soft like custard and, and eat a whole bulb a day. That, that kind of sulfur is what we need in our body. Sulfur is very, a very important and very uh, much depleted element in a lot of people's bodies. Okay, um, I think that's it for this part and we'll spend just a few minutes. We'll do the scorbate flush next. Okay, just one quick thing before we talk about the ascorbate flush. Um, why did I write this protocol? I mentioned earlier in this video, or in the last video, I guess, um, that I believe that our minds need to be clear so that we can understand spiritual truth and that we're bought with a price. We don't have a right to treat our bodies any old way we choose. And so um, I believe that because of all the toxins in the world today, we need to be very proactive um, in, in detoxifying our bodies from the things that a lot of which we really have no control over, you know, what's, you know, pesticides being sprayed on foods and what is being sprayed in the air and things like that. We have no control over that. Um, but I believe that we need to live a lifestyle of detoxification. Um, that includes eating healthfully, eating good, clean food. Uh, foods that God designed our bodies to eat. I could say a lot more about that. There's a reason why I chose to use the Sea Salts brand. Um, there's a lot of different brands of ascorbate. Um, you can find uh, magnesium ascorbate is, is another good one. Um, you want one that's buffered with all four minerals ideally, which includes magnesium, calcium, potassium, and zinc. Men, in particular, tend to be deficient in zinc, and almost everybody is deficient in magnesium. And so that's another reason why I include magnesium in the protocol, because I believe during the detoxification process, we need more magnesium and more selenium than are found in the uh, doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack. But there's, there's such an excellent blend of vitamins and minerals and omega-3 fatty acids and cellular food in that kit that I, I, I have no problem using it. I just think we need a little bit more of those two things in particular. Now, this sea salts, as I said, is buffered with those four buffering minerals. If you take a vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid, you're, you're acidifying your body. And for, if you don't know, uh, if your body is in an acid state, that is a perfect environment for disease, particularly cancer. And so if we take our vitamin C in the form of a buffered 
vitamin C, which is ascorbate, then we're actually alkalinizing our body. Um, ascorbate is not only alkalinizing to the body, it's an antioxidant. Um, what is an antioxidant? Okay. Antioxidants are substances that help to reverse the effects of oxidative stress in our bodies. That potential in substances is called redox potential. And I'm getting too deep, so I'm going to back up. Um, I want this to be understandable for everybody, even kids. And so, um, a free radical is an element in the body that has lost one of its electrons in the outer ring. And it's kind of like, for those of you who um, are maybe familiar with when you get new tires in your vehicle and they put weights around it to balance that wheel so that when it spins, it spins smoothly. It's not wobbly. And maybe you've experienced that in your vehicle when you threw a weight off your wheel or something and the wheel becomes wobbly and it wobbles in the front end of your vehicle. Well, it's the same way with an electron when it loses, with a, a, an, an element, whenever it loses that electron. Uh, I'm trying to talk in general terms, but anyway, it loses an electron and it becomes unstable and it begins to bump into things and it, that's called oxidative stress. Well, the thing with vitamin C is the way that it's made, it can actually donate an electron to those unstable things and stabilize them. So that's why it's called antioxidant. Now, um, the ascorbate, there's, a, there's another antioxidant that is made by the body called glutathione. And glutathione is, is made when you, uh, if you choose to do coffee enemas during this detox, which it's not an absolute requirement, um, I do think that they are very valid and that they are very powerful to detoxify the liver and to flush out bile. Um, and stagnant bile can kind of lead to all kind of problems in the gallbladder and stuff like that. But um, if you take ascorbate, it actually helps to increase the glutathione and if you do the coffee enemas, how that works is coffee contains, as we know, caffeine, at least caffeinated coffee. It contains caffeine. That caffeine contains an acid called palmitic acid and palmitic acid goes to the liver and it stimulates the production and release of glutathione, which is one of the body's most powerful antioxidants. So, um, Oxidative stress and free radicals that come a lot from the wrong kinds of fats in our diet and oils um, are a major source of, of problem. So I got kind of off track, so let me go back to the ascorbate flush. Um, when you do the ascorbate flush, vitamin C is used in more, I believe it's more processes in the body than any other element, including magnesium, and magnesium is involved in like 300 different processes in the body. Um, most people are very deficient in vitamin C, and if you, if you look at Dr. Russell Jaffe's research, he has a really good, in fact I posted it on the Heavy Metals Detox Facebook page, um, he has a really good lecture on vitamin C in the form of ascorbate on there and it, it just it gives all the science and everything so if you are interested in more of the science you can go watch that. Our bodies use up vitamin C either very rapidly or very slow depending on individual need. Now at the beginning of the protocol we want to do what's called the ascorbate flush. What that is and some people call it the ascorbate calibration same thing. Um, what you're doing is calibrating your body's individual need for vitamin C. The first time, I've, I've taken myself through this detox twice. The first time I calibrated or did the vitamin C flush, I actually flushed, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute, with about 12 to 14 grams, which is not a huge amount, but it's, it's a large dose. After I had tetanus and I had to have the, the human immunoglobulin in the form of 12 shots, um, if you haven't heard that story, I have a video on our channel called um, My Wake Up Call. So you can go watch that and hear the story of my tetanus experience. But after my tetanus with this detox that we're just finishing up, it took me 39 grams to flush. That is a huge dose. 
of, of vitamin C. And I believe that the reason it took so much was because of all the junk in my body left over from the tetanus and from the shots that I had to take. So when you do the ascorbate flush, you challenge your body with a huge dose of vitamin C to the point of diarrhea. And it's not just, you know, one loose stool that we're looking for. We're looking for a liquid stool, a gush of water of like a pint, a pint and a half um, of just water coming out. That's the flush. That's when you know that your body is totally saturated with vitamin C. According to Dr. Jaffe, when you reach that point, if you had a microscope and could look at one of the human cells, you could actually see the vitamin C precipitating and returning back into a, a powder form uh, in the cell, which I think is really neat. Okay, the way to do the flush is on uh, like when, before you start the detox, you want to pick a day when you can stay home. You will need to stay home for this day. Trust me. Don't try to do this on a day that you're going to work. The day that we do the flush, we actually fast breakfast. And that's the only time during the whole detox that you really need to fast. Um, and the reason you need to fast, you'll find out as we go. What we do is we start off with one teaspoon of ascorbate dissolved in a minimum of eight ounces of water. I like to use 12 because if you use too little water when you do the ascorbate flush you can get terrible gas pains and cramps. Um, nine times out of ten if somebody has that when they're doing the ascorbate calibration it's for one of two reasons. One, as I mentioned, too little water. The other is trying to um, rush it, trying to get it done too quickly. So, a teaspoon, a level teaspoon of the powder in a cup to a cup and a half, and I prefer about 12 ounces, cup and a half of water. Dissolve it in. Now, it, it's going to effervesce or bubble. When it finishes, that the bubbling process is when you drink it. Don't drink it until it's done with its bubbling process. That will take about five minutes. So, um, you're going to do that, take one teaspoon, one level teaspoon in that amount of water, 8, eight to 12 ounces, every 15 minutes. And you're going to do that, and it, here's the way that I know that I'm getting really close to that saturation point. I start feeling the, the rumble, I call it the gurgling in my gut. When I get to that point where I really start to rumble, not just a little gurgle, gurgle, but a real, it's really rolling in there. When I get to that point, I take one more dose. And you want to calculate, keep up with how many teaspoons you take. Now, in this ascorbate, I believe it's, um, I don't have my glasses, but yeah, 4,000 milligrams per teaspoon. So one teaspoon is four grams, okay? Um, one gram is 1,000 milligrams. You're going to want to know how many teaspoons it takes you to actually have the flush, the, to get to the point to where you have that watery stool. When you get to that point, what you're going to do on a daily basis thereafter is you're going to calculate whatever two-thirds of that dose is. So for instance, if it took me um, three grams to flush, I would take two grams a day, okay, just simplifying it. So um, two-thirds of whatever the, the flush amount is, is what you're going to need on a daily basis. And here's how you take it on a daily basis. Um, because it took me 39 grams to flush this time, the dose that I needed to take on a daily basis, I think my husband calculated it as a little over five teaspoons. Let's see little over six teaspoons that I would need to take every day. That's a lot and if I took all that at one time not only would I have a terrible stomach ache but I would flush because that's a lot at one time. Okay? So what you do is you want to prepare in a jar like you know a quart jar you can use a larger jar but I recommend a quart jar put all your your um, vitamin C that you need for that day in the jar let it finish fizzing out and put the, the lid on it. You want to keep it Actually, it would be better if this was one of those brown jars, but it's darker and I use it up fairly quickly. So I try to, 
I try to make sure that I get half of this drunk before lunch and the other half I drink in the afternoon and evening. You're just going to want to sip this throughout the day. Now, if you don't drink enough water with this, this is super concentrated depending on how much it takes you to flush. But for me, six teaspoons, is that's a lot of ascorbate. And, and if I took all that at once, I would have terrible cramps. And uh, in this detox, because we had to take so much, my husband had to take a lot more too, um, we found out really quickly that if you don't drink enough water, you'll have the bad cramps. Because the first couple of days, we paid. Because neither of us drank enough water. And we had terrible cramps and, and bloating. But after that, we increased our water a lot. For instance, if I take four or five swigs of this, swallows of this, I'm going to take two or three times that much water. And you can use your ginger and lemon water for that, that's fine. But don't just drink this without drinking this. This is very concentrated. When you drink your swallows of this throughout the day, then you're also going to want to take water with it at the same time. Now, a couple other things um, on the ascorbate. One is when you finish the detox, you can't just suddenly stop taking. If you're ta Like for me, with those six teaspoons a day that I'm having to take, um, if I suddenly stopped taking that, see my body is used to getting that level of vitamin C, it could actually, I, I wouldn't feel very well. It could cause some reactions in my body. And so I'm going to, when, I think we're finished tomorrow with this, and so I will start backing off by a teaspoon or so a day and then kind of taper myself off. But I take a teaspoon of the ascorbate every day. And the reason I do that is because I'm exposed to heavy metals every day. And my body needs vitamin C. And I, you know, an orange today does not have the same amount of vitamin C as it did when I was a little girl, you know. 45, 50 years ago, it's just not the same. In fact, somebody shared a chart with me one time, and I think there's like 40 or 50 percent less vitamin C. Um, the vitamin C in the form of ascorbate is bioidentical, which means that it's the same form of vitamin C as is found in our foods. So our bodies are going to be able to assimilate it well, but because we're taking it in a concentrated form, in an orange, you've got all the other bioflavonoids with it. And this needs bioflavonoids to function properly inside the body. That's why I added the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack because it has all the bioflavonoids in there. Everything is mixed together. It really kind of blew my mind whenever I saw what all they had in the Lifelong Vitality Pack because it was everything that I needed to go along with the vitamin C. So um, that's it for the ascorbate flush, but I think I emphasized whenever you, um, you can't just jump in to doing the ascorbate, you've got to have the bowels open first. So at the very beginning, before you even start the, the flush, the detox, anything, get your bowels moving. Start taking the flaxseed tea. In order to do that, you just bring two cups of water to a boil. Put a heaping tablespoon of organic flaxseed whole in the water, cover it, and remove it from the heat. Let it sit for 10 minutes, and then strain it and drink it. You can eat the seeds if you want to, but they're kind of slimy. Some people, that's a little offensive. Um, but it really tastes nice. It's got a nice nutty flavor, and it's very good for you. Very cleansing, detoxifying to the kidneys. So you have to clean the colon. You want to get the kidneys open, and then we'll take the detox as we go um, in the videos and I'm just you know dependent on your honesty to um, to support us and uh, I know that God will take care of us and I, I really do I want to help people and uh, so that's it right now for the ascorbate flush and we'll see you on the next video